Hello everybody, Nathan here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview on how to work with text in Blender 2.78. So firstly we are going to go ahead and delete the default cube because the default cube never gets any love. Shift A to open up our add menu and we will select text. See we now have a text object. So we can hit tab if you have pie modes enabled. You will get your little pop-ups here. If you don't, I'll just go directly into edit mode. And then you can you can type as you would expect. Object mode. We have our text. Now maybe you have a lot more text or you want to, oh, I don't know, maybe copy and paste some text. So let's go ahead and open this and we'll just say this is some excellent Wow, I need something to type excellent quality writing. So we have some text here now. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode. Control A, select all works, backspace works. Control V, works. Very nice. You can use the arrow keys to move through. Backspace and delete both work as expected. So you can copy and paste text directly like that, or you can go ahead and create a new window and change it to a text editor. Uh, create a new text body so we can type something. And we will write, this is some super useful. No, well, who cares what it says? Some super useful information about text. It could say anything, doesn't matter. I'm just an example. And then we can actually put that text into the scene by going to, what is it, edit? text to 3D object, one object, and we now have a new object that says this is some super useful information about text. Now we can also do text to 3D object, one object per line, which as you'll notice, it's still a text object here, so we can still edit this as we could normal text. But if we do here, make it two lines, now we get two objects, again they're both text objects, so they can still be edited, but each line is its own piece of text object instead of being one chunk, because if we do a two line thing with two objects, now both are one piece, and again can be edited as normal. Now super flat text, not really super useful, let me just get rid of this. So let's see how to make this text ooh, a little bit thicker. Uh, if you're selected on your text, you will see you have a text object data over here you can modify. And you can change the extrusion, which is how thick it is. You can do an offset, which pretty much will just mess anything up if you play around with that too much. So use it very cautiously and, you know, you can do bevel, which puts a bevel onto the edge of your text. Um, again, if you go too far with that, you pretty much mess stuff up. But as long as it's used sparingly, it can give you a very nice effect. And you can change the resolution, which pretty much is just how many like curves are used to make the edge. You can also change your fonts. You would have to browse to a font on your computer, and then you can use that font. Um, text can go on curves. So if we... I don't want that we go ahead and create a curve, let's do it by the air curve, edit that, extrude that up, sure why not, and then we do text on curve, you'll see the text kind of follows the curve-ish, somewhat, um, honestly this is a really horrible curve to be using, but you'll notice the text kind of moves along that shape. As you push it closer, it goes closer, but it never stretches itself out. So that can be used if you need to put a curve in your text or anything of that like. And also, whoops, hmm, never mind. I will say the text will follow the curve when moved, but it doesn't. Oh, oh no, never mind. Uh, it's something totally different. Um, and then you have your alignment, which works as normal text alignment works. 
small caps, underlining, italics, bold. I'm not seeing any of those things happen. I don't know if I have to do that in edit mode, maybe? Hmm. But that is basically your basics of text. They can be animated, of course. So, for example, I insert a location frame. G to move it. I to insert, whoops. I to insert another location frame. And the text moves exactly as expected. Functions the exact same way as any other object. It's just a text. Now, you can change this using alt c into a mesh which can then be edited with normal mesh tools but is no longer able to be edited as text so keep that in mind if you think you're going to make more changes to the text to either make a duplicate copy before you convert to mesh or make sure you make all your text changes before you convert it because once it's converted it is very difficult to try to like rearrange letters or something so there you have it quick intro to text in blender Hope this was helpful and catch you next time.